Hey guys, so in this video I want to give you just a quick overview of the four new settlements that have been added in Far Harbour. Um, exactly where you find them, I'm not going to tell you what specifically you need to do, but I will point you towards the person you need to talk, talk to to actually unlock them, because I don't want to spoil the quest for you. Um, if you guys are wanting to go completely blind into your playthrough for Far Harbour, if you haven't touched it yet, I'd recommend turning off now, mainly because I'm obviously going to try and keep it completely as spoiler free as possible. But I will be, for example, opening my map and will have to kind of mention names of certain people who might... They're not, you know, they're minor, minor side quests, but at the same time, if you're going going in completely blind, you shouldn't be watching this video anyway. Alright, you've been warned. So, the first one is Longfellow's Cabin, which is a really beautiful area. Now, you get this. Um, Location-wise, it's just north of Far Harbour, so it's it's literally the first one you get. Um, and what you'll do, most of you probably already locked this on Weddy if you've played Far Harbor even for about 30 minutes. But you get this guy here, old Longfellow. Um, he will be, he's actually an optional companion as well. Um, you'll do a short quest with him where he takes you to Arcadia, um, which is the home of the synths. After he's taken you there, obviously you can continue traveling if you want. I just ditched him because I brought Nick with me and I want Valentine here for this, for various reasons. Um, plus Valentine is baller as fuck. Um, but at the same time, he goes back here, and then you unlock this settlement. It's really, really cool. I like this one a lot. It's a nice first settlement for you to get. It's basically like a nice small spect kind of mini spectacle island, I guess. Um, it's just quite good. It's got a really nice large build area. You know, it goes all the way to the edge here. You've got a lot of space water, so it isn't going to be a croup manor thing, by the way. You're not going to have it where you can't actually put purifiers in the water. <laughs> Um, you've got a lot of space to work with here. You've got this really, really nice path going the outside. Loads of dirt. It's a bit... It's not very even land, so you're probably possibly going to find it where... Your buildings are going to... Probably going to need to use foundations, basically, to keep it... So, like, literally, his cabin is on the kind of one place that actually has flat land. My one little nitpicking with this one... It's called Longfellow's Cabin. And that bothers me a lot. Um, I know it seems weird, but basically, you know, if I'm going to be building this up, you know, because I like to RP quite a lot, if I'm building this up, which I will, don't worry, but if I am building this up, um, and, you know, I want to turn into a settlement, and it's called Longfellow's Cabin. It's, it's not really Longfellow's Cabin, is it? It's Longfellow's Cabin plus buildings, walls, and other shit, but that's just me nitpicking. Okay, it's quite a cool area. You know, it's very close to close to Far Harbour. I probably should note as well, um, I d only learned this recently because I just tested it out. Um, when you're in Far Harbour, you can actually send supply lines back to the Commonwealth. So, for example, as this is the first settlement you unlock, you can basically just make a little forward base here, link it back to your, say, sanctuary or something like that, and that way you can have access to all the workshop items. So you can basically start building these as soon as you unlock them, assuming you have the resources back home. Right, anyway, let's go to the next area, shall we? So, on to the next one. This is Dalton Farm, which is loaded on the north side of the island. Now, to unlock this, it's um, part of the question you have to do for Cassie Dalton. Uh, when you enter Far Harbour, you'll be asked to actually help the people of Far Harbour. She's one of the pe two or three people, I think, you help. Um, and it's not the end of her quest chain, but it is about the middle or two-thirds through. Um, it's reasonably simple to do. She'll send you here to do a thing, do the thing here. And then eventually you'll get to have the settlement. Now, what I was going to tell you was, ah, this is my worst one because of these shitty little houses. Look at how crap they are. Look at them. Look at that. Look, look at this. Look at. Ah, oh, this is horrible. Horrible. I can't do fucking shit with this. And that's what I was going to tell you. And then, then I happened to just go, oh, I wonder. Ah, O oh, ye of little faith, David, you doubted the doubted the Todd. Look at that. Look at that. See, my bother was that you, you know, wouldn't be able to build anything here, but now you can scrap those houses. This is actually an awesome area. So I did have a look around after I realised that. And it is actually a pretty awesome space. Um, it's got... The one thing that you're going to probably notice with the settlements, or I've noticed... See, look, they... They've basically seemed to have thought ahead a little more with the design of all of these settlements. So a lot of the nagging issues that may have happened in other settlements, especially in obviously the mainland, you know, these creep manors, you know, lack of usable water as a prime example, but they've kind of solved them, or at least tried to avoid those kind of things. Um, you know, they have a lot of character. This was probably still one of the duller of the 
the four settlements. But it's a nice, it's a, quite a solid one. You've got this nice dock here, which, you know, obviously, given the maritime vibe, it's going to be very, very cool. Uh, you've got now that you can trash those houses. You've got a nice little homestead area. Nice little place to actually have a farm. It's quite large, but it's not overwhelming. It's also well located as well at the north side of the island. So you don't, you kind of feel out of your way, but not too much. So I, I quite, I quite like this one. And I'm looking forward to doing wonderful and beautiful things for you. Right, anyway, let's pop on to number three, shall we? On to number three, which I've deliberately recorded during a radiation storm because it's easy for you to see everything. Um, now this one is called Echo Lake Lumber and you get it from going to Far Harbour. Um, further in, you get all these settlements from doing side quests um, and in this instance it'll be much further in. Eventually you'll be able to talk to small Bertha. She will send you over here to clear it out and that's basically the quest. Um, not very much for smaller. It's one of those clear out the area so people can go there kind of quests that Preston loves so much. Um, now, one criticism of this area, which is why I've deliberately done the Rad Storm here. Um, Preface it, I haven't actually finished the DLC yet. I'm close. I think I've got maybe a third left. Um, but I just could never get this place, like, through resting for it to not be this foggy. Um, there is a suggestion that I'm, I don't know, but you may or may not... I'll put a little... No, I'm not going to put an annotation. I'm not going to put a spoiler. Um, but basically, you may be able to get this game less foggy further down the line. I don't know. Also, um, any spoilers, because I'll have finished tonight, that do get put in the comments. I will delete them. So don't bother, because they will be gone. <laughs> and eventually I'll have them in my spam filter. Um, anywho. So basically, it, it, ignoring the fog for a second, that I hope can disappear at some point. It's a really, really cool area, this one. As I said, like before, there's a lot more forethought with actually this area. Um, all the, the settlements in this um, DLC. You can literally more or less scrap everything bar this building here. Um, all of the wooden structures around the outside. There's a lot of space. I think this will be our big... Th this one could actually feel like a big settlement. Also, I just love the fact that it's got this big sign at the front as well. You know, it just looks really grand. What is it? just echo like lumber but you know you can call it whatever the fuck you like it's got a nice amount of space it's got an interesting shape and again it's right next to the sea as well so you can be able to put all of your water purifiers make a little dock area and just make it look very very cool so i like this one i just and you've got these like little stands here as well actually probably my favorite part actually is these which and you can't destroy the steps but you definitely have to do something with this I imagine with aggressive use of the rug glitch you could actually I'm using sarcastic quote your hands here fix the stairs but I think this has great potential it's just the fucking fog Davy hates fog I've already uh, established this in my videos a few times but I really really hate fog <laughs> I wish it was a mist rather than a fog anywho right on to the final one and my favorites and finally, number four, which is my favourite one that they've added in the game, uh, in the DLC rather, which is called the National Park Visitors Centre. Now, as like um, the last settlement, uh, this one you unlock through doing sort of side quests in Far Harbour, and it's unlocked at more or less the same stage. So once you unlock Small Bertha to get the other one, in this one you just have to go talk to the barman Mitch, and he will send you over here, and then you do some stuff. And then you get this one. Now, I like this one, firstly, because it's just, it feels like, it feels like a place that would actually be a settlement. You know, in terms of it, you know, when the apocalypse comes and there is this big visitor center here, it's isolated, but it's got a nice secure, well, I mean, technically it will be a secure building when I get my hands on it. Um, however, it's just a nice little building for you to work with. It's also got some nice rugs in here as well. Look at this. Look at this. Fancy rugs. Gorgeous. Um, it's got a bit of dirt on the inside. I'm not going to lie that you can't sort out. I don't know if you can... Oh, you can use the fountains. Sweet. Um, but yeah, no. It, it, it's it's a good one. It, it's quite fun to unlock as well. Well, I mean, it's, it's more exciting than most. The good thing that a lot of you will like this one is because it already feels like a complete settlement. Um, you know, you've got these towers in place, which I'm totally going to steal that idea, actually. 
Um, um, I do have maybe a slight criticism of Bethesda's fence placement. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not really very straight, is it, Bethesda? Get your fuck... Look at those gaps, honestly. Have you assholes not heard of the rug glitch? But the good thing is, as well, is you've got all this area over here. You've got some nice cars down here. You know, you can basically... You know, that'll be your fortress up there. And then you've got all of this area down. So it's a nice wide area to work with. It's already a cool looking settlement as well. I love this. I just I just really, really like this one. It's got a lot of character to it. Um, this is definitely the most interesting one. I'll ignore the dead trappers that I have lying around. Don't worry about them. A slight worry with this ghoul here. And whether he will actually despawn or not. However, he's not inside the house. And he's not stuck in anything. So I'm not personally too bothered. However, also with mods coming, you know, we'll actually be able to hopefully scrap them. Oh, that is some really bad... Oh, honestly. Look at that, Bethesda. Did you not even... Ugh. Evidently, they haven't been watching my videos enough. I'll have to uh, send them an angry tweet later after this. But anyway, yeah, those are the, the four settlements in in Far Harbour. I'm quite liking them. Um, in terms of my overall kind of feeling, again, definitely maritime. This one actually feels less maritime and more just general kind of wilderness cabin, which I quite like. The other three are obviously definitely maritime feeling, which I love. Again, about the fog, I really hope it goes down a little bit once I finish the DLC, or there's a, a way I can get it to go down a little bit, because... I appreciate, like, fog sounds cool in theory, but when you're actually... I probably may have met some of you may not have noticed this because you don't recall, but when you're recording a YouTube video, you kind of pay attention to how the game looks in terms of visually how much you can see. And the fog just... It does kind of ruin it a little bit, um, and I kind of hope that the fog isn't so much of a problem once you completed it in terms of just making these settlements look nice. Worst case, hopefully some one of you lovely people with some technical skill will actually make me a mod that just eliminates fog from the game completely. Just 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 get rid of it, seriously. Make it a nuclear storm all the time, I don't give a shit. Just anywho, right, so hope you guys found it interesting. Any um thoughts you have for the new summons will be quite good. Um, you know, I've got an idea for this one, but the other ones I'm a wee bit stumped on and what I can actually build there. So any ideas any of you guys have also started actually making stuff there? Um Grab me on Twitter and pop me um a couple of Twitter pic tweet pics um and also one of those thirty second videos as well because that gives me an idea of what you're up to because I would like your ideas. Also, my rule with this settlement is you have to have closed off the gaps or I will not acknowledge your existence. I will actually, but I'll just sneer at you. All right, so there'll be another video maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. Um, I probably will not be streaming tomorrow because I actually want a full day to myself. But I'll do um, a stream on Monday or something like that um, to make up for it. It says I'm going to try and do take a day off but also maybe try and record all of my footage for the following week in one day. And I kind of want to chill in the evening. Right, anyway, I will talk to you lovely people soon. As always, follow me on Twitter at NoRespawns. If I won't be streaming tomorrow, follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash no underscore respawns and I will talk to you lovely people soon when I finished Far Harbor and then I'm lost and confused because I have nothing left to give my life meaning anymore. Bar playing Doom I guess actually that's pretty grand. Anyway, take care.